Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to call your attention to some very alarming facts coming out of the border, the southern border, in the wake of President Biden ending Title 42 today. I received these figures on Monday, totaling one week's worth of activity on the border. Border agents and other authorities were able to apprehend or stop 55,000 illegal immigrants from coming into the United States. Additionally, border agents seized the following. $714,000 in cash, 101 pounds of cocaine, 1,050 pounds of marijuana, 2,721 pounds of meth, 138 pounds of fentanyl, which is enough fentanyl to potentially kill 30 million people and more if it's taken by minors. Additionally, they confiscated 16 guns, six, six sex offenders, and seven gang members. These seizures take place all the while our border law enforcement are assaulted continually, including female border agents who have been brutally beaten by male illegal immigrants. Those arrest and seizure numbers are just incredible, but unfortunately, this is not the whole story. It's not the whole story because still last week, the border reports nearly 19,000 illegal immigrants escaped border patrol. Based on the numbers above, one can assume that hundreds of pounds of cocaine, fentanyl, and other substances, along with guns and criminals, came right across the border with them. And yet, Joe Biden says illegal immigration is down by 90%. Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas says the border is secure. If those things are true, I would sure hate to see what an unsecured border looks like to the Biden administration. Make no mistake, Illinois will feel the pain of this invasion. Chicago is already bursting at its seams and the spread is happening. These people will come with no resources, criminals will continue their gang activity here, and the drugs will come, and our friends and family will be the ones who overdose on them. This is a disaster, an actual disaster, worthy not only of Title 42, but serious action to control and secure our border. Thank you.